Welcome to Accelerus Presents. I'm Pete Guayarello, and I'm here with Dave Satorak, and we are going to continue our series, a tour of the Microsoft System Center Service Manager Console. This is part three of ten. We're in the administration workspace, and we are going to look at the self-service portal and security. Dave? Hey, thanks, Pete. Uh, I'm really excited about the portal functionalities in the Service Manager. Um, when you look at the cost of uh, support. There's so much that gets pulled into just resetting passwords, getting the software that they need. It's a real pain in the neck and uh, Service Manager really helps with that basic issue. So let's have a look at this. This is the portal. There's actually two portals in, self, in uh, Service Manager. There's the self-service portal for um, end users and there's the portal for IT analysts. They're basically web pages they can get to and do what they need to do uh, for their jobs. Let's have a look at these. Now this is the out-of-the-box portal that's uh, provided with uh, Service Manager. You can modify this. You can put in your own logo. You can change the, the whole look and feel to match uh, the style of your organization. Uh, but this is what you get out of the box. Up here you'll see uh, Contact IT. Uh, you can enter on the portal um, contact information, which is your telephone number, email, chat, uh, etc., uh, fax number. Here's where you know, IT announcements show up. Remember in a, in a prior session we talked about IT announcements. Uh, when you publish them to the portal, this is where they show up. Uh, also, knowledge-based articles. You want uh, end users to be able to help themselves. So there may be certain key knowledge-based articles that you distributed uh, after getting a call from them. Why not distribute them before you get a call from them? This gives your basic user information. So you logged in. Here's who you're logged in as. Um, and then you can check. These end users can check on their requests. And this functionality down here, resetting passwords, etc., depends on what you enable uh, in the tool. But basically, for example, if you use FIM or ILM for password reset or some third-party tool, you can configure this so that when they click on there, they can reset their own password. For requesting software, you can queue up packages. Uh, typically, the System Center Configuration Manager uh, person who works with the administrator on uh, Service Manager on this. You queue up uh, packages uh, for them to re request. There are two types. One type is um, doesn't need any kind of manager approval. Second type is requires manager. So, example, the former might be Office uh, uh, Communicator 2007 R2. Yeah, just go ahead and take it. Uh, but for Visio and Project, we want manager approval. And then there's finally, there's creating requests. They can create their own new request in the portal. Um, the IT Analyst Portal is similar, but of course, it's for the role of an IT analyst. That's somebody who's in the support organization in IT. So they can see announcements uh, for them. They can also see change requests. The change requests that they've created, what's the status of those? Change requests that have been assigned by me. You don't see data in here, but you will. It's a cool graphic you can click and drill down on um, when, you, um, when you populate with data. Then here it says who I am and the review activities and manual activities. So activities and workflows are two types. One is um, their, their review activities. That is reviewing an authorized approving step. So somebody built out a server as part of a workflow. Is it built right? Yes, I say yes. Or no, I say no. Kick back and go fix it. And then there's also um, manual activities, which are the work steps a person or group might do to make something happen. So if I'm going to build and deploy a server, there's going to be certain manual steps. And then uh, there's going to be an approval by someone to look at it and say, yeah, it's built as it should be. So that is the analyst portal. To configure those in the Service Manager console, you go to Portal Settings. And this is what we're looking at here. So you saw on the portal uh, for the end user, that they could request software. Well, that workflow gets configured here in the uh, uh, deployment configuration process. And then there's the end user portal contact IC session. Very similarly, simply, that's like, what's our phone number? What's our fact number to display on the portal? So just drilling down here on the software deployment process, you can see that there's processes that are specific to deploying certain packages. So you configure those. Um, here we have a uh, Office Live meeting, uh, software request, request process. And then <clears throat> you can look at the packages here. You have a, a number of packages again. Some can require um, uh, a manager approval and some not. <clears throat> and then the result is if you publish a package to the portal, there it is. <clears throat> There's Notepad. If somebody wanted to pull it down, they could as part of the request software process. 